Hello everyone. In this video, we will see new additions being made to CloudStack UI for upcoming LTS version that allow importing and unmanaging virtual machines from the UI itself. In these changes, a new section called Tools has been added in the UI navigation. It gives an option for import export instances. On opening it, it shows an import export instances wizard. Here we can select zone, pod and clusters. Based on the cluster selected, unmanaged and managed instances list is shown for that cluster. Only if cluster is of VMware hypervisor type, uh, then we get these list. Otherwise, it won't be shown because importing and unmanaging virtual machines is supported only for VMware right now. In the unmanaged list, we get those virtual machines that are available on the hypervisor side but cannot be controlled from cloud stack. On the other hand, managed instances are those instances or virtual machines that can be controlled by cloud stack using UI or API. Below the list, we get the option for importing and export unmanaging. Once we select an element from the list, these buttons become active. We can uh, multi-select uh, virtual machines for unmanaging. Let's try to unmanage a couple of instances. On clicking unmanage instance, we get this confirmation dialog. On clicking OK, these two instances will be unmanaged. Once unmanage is successful, these VMs are removed from managed instances list and are added to unmanaged instances list. Now let's try to import an existing instance. So let's try this one. Button becomes active. When we click on it, we get this import instance form. Here we are shown details of the virtual machine that are retrieved from hypervisor, CPU, memory, network host cluster we get the option for setting display name host name domain project etc let's put display name optionally we can fill these values uh, for template we get the option for using a temporary template that is dummy template being used by cloud Sec or we can select an existing template from the uh, zone that is already registered. Let's try to import with temporary template right now. We can select a compute offering based on the current uh, CPU and mem memory of the virtual machine. Uh, form tries to autofill these values so it has selected medium instance which has equivalent CPU and memory. We get the option for selecting disk as this uh, VM is having multiple disks. We can select one of them as root disk and other will be data disk. So both disks are listed here. For the data disk, we can select data disk offering. Uh, it tries to auto assign uh, matching disk offering or we can select one of the available disk offering based on the size. Based on the size, these disk offerings will be filtered. Then we get this option for selecting network. Here, uh, virtual machine is having two different NICs. So we get option for selecting two different networks for each of the NIC. Based on the VLAN ID, these networks will be filtered for each NIC. So right now, it is showing only single network. It is an, an uh, L2 network, so we don't get option for providing IP address. In case of isolated network, we get this option for uh, either auto assigning uh, random IP address or passing a manual IP address. Let's try to use auto assign right now. On clicking OK, import process will start and 
after successful import vm is removed from the unmanaged instance list and added to managed instance if we go into second page of the managed instances we get to see our imported vm so these are the new changes that will be available in upcoming lts version that is 416 and they should allow admins to easily import or export or unmanage virtual machines from their vmware clusters that's it thank you